there. During that tour, we actually scored a, a, like a three-week tour with Offspring in the, uh, in the U.S. And actually, the first two shows we played with Offspring were at Irvine Meadows. Hello. Oh, we're getting ready for the big rock show. Yeah, you know what? Well, he's him do it. You can't. First two dates, Irvine Meadows, where we all four used to go. See, four. Concert from Iron Maiden to ACDC, so those two shows were we were shaking in our shoes. Let me tell you, it was pretty fucking rad. And uh, we did that tour. That took us, you know, those type of venues through. Actually, it was most of the uh, most of the East Coast. But uh, right, right smack dab in the middle of that was Woodstock, and uh, we played the same day as Offspring. We played on a different stage. They were both like the same size, but there was an East stage and West stage. We played that, and that was hot as fuck. For everybody. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Gina. What does Gina have to say about this whole event? Uh, say hi to the camera, Gina. Wait, oh, here's the ear. We can't hear her. Did you hear it? It was, it's AJ. This is Alan playing racquetball at Woodstock, trying to pelt the spin photographer, Michael. <laughs> to be able to be a part of Woodstock is something we've never even dreamed of. part about it was knowing that we were the first band on the Woodstock pay-per-view. The crowd was, you know, was pretty big, but the uh, the pay-per-view thing was kind of nerve-wracking. Gave uh, props out to my kid. Gina was wearing a Hi Gina shirt. Hi Gina. Finished up the Offspring uh, show in the States. Then we went directly from there over to Europe, which was pretty damn fortunate because a lot of bands go over to Europe and you know try to do it you know on their own doing club dates and we definitely get totally got lucky being able to go go over there and open up for offspring because we were playing in front of you know you know four and five thousand people a night, which would never happen on a brand, uh, for a brand new band and uh, we did pretty well over there. You know, kind of weird. Europe is kind of trippy. This is Europe right here, baby. It's, you can see spills everywhere. Put some boots. Patrick on it. Put some fucking drink it. You're a tree stunner. Fucking chip bean guy in the back. Fucking iron lung. Do it, brother. <laughs> Biohazard. <laughs> 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 wow. Oh, oh, here, here's the story of Lynn. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? What? Because I didn't drink all my fucking. I couldn't. No, because I'm tamming out. Go. <laughs> Go ahead, just drink it, dude. Can we edit this tape? A little bit? Just fucking puss, dude. We're Yay. Hey, we're, really, we're sponsored by Jaeger. You know the kind of the little things that you miss back at home, like like ice in your coke and. uh 
you know, shower curtains and regular showers and it's kind of trippy over there, the food. I mean, I would definitely go back, but I don't know if I would vacation over there. It's all, you know, it's all personal taste. But anyway, we did that, we did, did a bunch of huge festivals over there with them, which was insane. We did uh, two that come to mind are the Reading Festival and the Leeds Festival was like insane. We were the first band to go on. Actually, that was in England, so we were actually doing really well. My understanding, we did really well in, in England, so that kind of like, like set the tone for the whole show. And we showed up at, uh, you know, got there at like 10.30 in the morning. We went on at noon, and we expected, you know, it was a three-day festival, so we were the first band to go on the third day. We expected, you know, people to roll out of their tents whenever they, you know, damn well pleased, and thinking there's be, you know, like four or 5,000 people, which is still a lot, but when you saw the stage and the, like, the amount of space where the people were, four or 5,000 people would have seemed like it would have been, it would have been fun, but it would have been like, oh, okay, this is the Reading Festival, but even the promoter said, um, the promoter told us that it was like the biggest turnout that he's ever seen for like a main stage first act ever, like that many people show up for, you know, an opening band. and. It was probably the most people we ever played in front of. It was pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy playing in front of that many people in a different country and reacting to your music the way they do. It was, it was insane. So that was our European experience. Okay. Hi, Jack. Jackie, that baby! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! <laughs> Holy Dude, shit! That was fucking not cool. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was my first spill of Europe. Can we get a towel? Jack! Can we get a fucking towel? Jack, how you doing, baby? <laughs> they got towels in Europe? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, on a solo mission, baby. Where did come from? <laughs> <laughs> where the fuck did he come from? Tamsville. like a three-week break uh, then we started the uh, campus invasion tour with uh, the MTV campus invasion tour with garbage which was another fucking knockout tour another band that we're totally into and uh, so you're gonna see a pattern of all these different uh, acts that we wanted to tour with what are you like rocking this? out to uh, mm -hmm. us <laughs> <laughs> Remind himself of how the songs go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little, little refer reference of how fast each song is supposed to go. Because the tendency to have uh, the tendency to speed the songs up a little bit. Because of all the cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we had the hookers today and all the cocaine, so, you know. Did the garbage tour. We actually, uh, I think the night that we totally bonded with them was in New Orleans. There was a night off and we got to, we just got shit faced with, uh, with garbage, playing some CeeLo with garbage. Took a little money from uh, Shirley and the gang. Actually, Shirley drank us all under the, under the table, but uh, pretty fun experience. Pretty kick-ass band. And, uh